Okay, so I'm in the studio at the moment and it's a little bit of a shit tip. I've been getting rid of a few things, but then suddenly everything that I did keep ended up all over the place. I'm starting to think about how to approach documenting building a CNC controller because I'm at a stage where the one I'm using is the one I think I'm going to carry on using. I've got some of the random stuff that I was working on back in the flat during the lockdown and then just things everywhere. I really do need to think about tidying up but I feel like I need to see everything out to remind me that I still have things to work on. And there's the CNC machine. That's the new variable frequency drive that I'm planning to use. And this is the current controller that I have. The test bed that I built during the lockdown ran on the RepRap firmware version 3.01. And the one in here on this duet is version 2.05 and there's some major differences between the two firmwares in which which affect how the CNC machine behaves but the newer firmware has just better features it's written to overcome some of these previous problems now I could just tear everything out of this controller and start from scratch but I'd like to keep the machine connected in case I need to use it over the coming months I thought what I'd do is maybe talk about all the mistakes I've made in my life and that while they've made me stronger, they've also killed me slowly from the inside out. There's not much point in me going over this machine in any detail as I've actually got a video where I outline some of the experiences I had when first setting it up, which I published in September 2019. Actually, what I want to talk about is the realisation that this channel is quite hard to follow, especially for beginners. I think this is because most viewers find content here based on their searches, ideas and goals they want to achieve without necessarily knowing how all that fits into the miasma of my own education. Because the various narrative threads are a little frayed and I was genuinely learning while I went along making these videos, I may have planned for one outcome in an earlier video and changed my mind at a later time. This has resulted in a disparate collection of videos about many aspects of CNC machining from software to controllers as well as various designs for machines I've built. YouTube doesn't have great organisational systems in place for retrospectively making sense of videos, so instead what I've done is ordered the videos and playlists into key stages along a timeline and published that on my website, which I'll link to in the description below. The first timeline will be about the controllers, the second will be about the various designs I've built, and the third will be about software and workflow. Hopefully that will provide some kind of order of progression where I can leave my thoughts retrospectively about the decisions I made along the way when choosing certain platforms or when going with particular designs. Anyway, there's not much more for me to say here. And in the next video, I will start to show you the latest controller that I'm building and reveal some of the problems I encounter and decisions I've made along the way. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to sacrifice a thumb to the algorithm gods and you'll see me in the next one.